some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in beautiful Cocoa Beach, Florida, with that nauseating moron, as Elmo, as he attempts to audit a correctional facility in the area. Only, only he finds out he is trespassing and he gets escorted off the property and properly educated. So now, let's go to sit back, relax, and enjoy watching as Elmo fall flat on his face once again. What's going on, folks? Auditing America. I'm out with Audits Con Sasson. Please subscribe to our channel. We're at the Corrections Department over here. Sheriff's Office. Special Programs Facility. Somebody that we can speak with? Uh, just information on the facility. Um, I can see if I'm, I'm not from this agency, so I have to see if another agency member has that. What's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? Morris. 218. Thank you, Morris. You're welcome. Yeah, let me see if, uh, let me see you, if one of the police. Yeah. Yes, what's your name and badge number? Good. Thank you very much. Morris. Thank you, guys. Just, let me see if I can get that answer for you, all right? Appreciate it. Can I hear a brief Alright. Yeah, they, they know about the facility a lot better than we're just, we're just here, uh, using their facility, so. Awesome. He's, yeah, he's going to awesome. come over here and. We're just working on videos about the Constitution and stuff. Understood. How long have you been a cop, bro? Uh, almost six years now. Yeah? Yeah. How, you, how, uh, how can you, how would you describe your experience as a police officer uh, over here in the United States? I love it, man. We have a good community, good uh, uh, support from the community and stuff like that. So. Awesome. That's very good. Well, we have thousands watching and we like to promote good uh, good cops and we also expose tyranny so we are uh... oh that's Elmo you have not exposed one bit of tyranny in your entire life but you on the other hand have been exposed for the fraudster and criminal that you are on countless occasions charges that have included false imprisonment and trespassing among other things you sir are a lifelong criminal do you guys have like a Facebook page or something? Yeah, we'll let you know. You will, we'll, we'll tag you guys uh, when we do this video. Oh, okay. And we'll make sure that you guys see. You know, we're just uh, we're respectful, uh, but we're doing a First Amendment audit, and the First Amendment is about sometimes being able to be disrespectful uh, as long as you don't speak violence, and also it's about freedom of the press. So we have the right to video record and and so on. Uh, well, first of all, First Amendment auditing is not an actual profession. It's just something that some idiot made up one day to go annoy people. It has no intrinsic value to society. In fact, it uh, turns people more against you than anything else. So much so that uh, politicians are now creating laws to uh, curtail the uh, little punks that go around to government buildings and start harassing people. So your days are numbered. A little longer than a few minutes later. Howdy. How you doing? Greetings and salutations. May I have your name and batch number, please, sir? Deputy Brian Fritz, ID 609. Awesome. Uh, can, how can we get information on this facility? Is, is it through you? Do you guys have a... Uh, office that we can access for the public yes you passed well, it says beyond that point no no let me show you we'll walk up here so let me ask you a question. Since when are places like this generally open to the public? I mean, you do see the fences around the place. I mean, shouldn't that be a strong indicator that, uh, well, the general public is not exactly allowed in there? I mean, a little bit of common sense goes a long way, dipstick. But common sense is not exactly in the arsenal of a First Amendment auditor, considering what they do all the time. Which is why a lot of them have been ending up in jail lately. Uh, no, you passed several no trespassing signs. Oh, so we're trespassing? Um, yes. Are we being detained? What's, what's your name and badge number? 
Am I being detained? No, no I'm showing you where that. Is that like a law that you guys have or is it just a sign that you guys put up? Because you see, this is a public facility and there's a sign over there that says restricted area beyond that point. So why would it? Why would S. Elmo, get your eyes checked. And for that matter, get your damn brain fixed. Because what of this area makes you think that it's a public area? This is a sheriff's department with a training ground and corrections department attached to it. How is this a public area? And for that matter, here is the... Uh, trespassing law that Florida has, which is attached to those signs that you failed to see. So, it is like a law. In fact, it is a law, you bloody moron. Why would you put that one over there? Respectfully. So I actually had questions about the canine training. People can observe that there's many signs, right? So apparently you guys passed these up here. Did you drive in here? We don't answer questions, but okay. we'll, we'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and take a look at at, at the sign, Sheriff. I'm asking you. Sheriff, let me ask you a question. Um, hey, Asselmo. Uh, I hate to tell you this, but uh, this gentleman right here is not the sheriff. He is a deputy, a corporal at that. So uh, you know what? Get your ranks uh, squared away, and don't make yourself look even dumber than you already are. How often do you guys get trained on the Constitution? Like the Bill of Rights, the First Amendment? Is it once a year, or how often? We have continuing training, always ongoing. Awesome. Would you agree that we should have... I mean... You're asking me my opinion. We should, we should have... Than, than all the way on the road, right? Sorry, dude. Uh, I disagree. There are certain areas that should be off limits. I mean, uh, like, take the military base that you tried to walk onto in Guam. I mean, there's perfectly legitimate reasons why someone like you shouldn't be allowed on that base, especially since there's sensitive material, other sensitive information, such as the layout of the base. Because, you know what, that kind of information might be sought by people who want to do damage to that area. So, uh, try to use a little bit more common sense than that. Or am I asking way too much of your simple little brain that it might end up getting fried due to all the uh, input you are receiving? I wish I could break it down to a level that you can understand, but unfortunately, I don't speak fluent idiot. Well, you can contact the sheriff's office, the community services. Okay. I don't grant access for that. Okay, so they have a sign right here. Okay, sure. Is there anything you're looking for? There's a love. Love. Fair enough. Do you guys have a vehicle? We don't answer questions, sir. We don't answer questions. But let me ask you. And then also up here, there's two more signs. So this Florida statute 810.08 yeah, says, the says right that I can't. But there's no there's no public access here at all. At the moment, not right now. No. So where do we go to get information you from here? You can contact community services by phone, and they will be able to give you further information. I don't know what story you're trying to do. Well, right now, right now, you know, you guys are all really good making walls and fences. Maybe you should put one right here, too. Oh, gee, Asomo, you're just so full of good ideas. Now, I just got a question for you. Do you have the money for that kind of expense? Do you have it? Because if you have it, then you can go ahead and give it to them so they can uh, go ahead and build those fences. But seeing as how... Uh, they have a budget they have to deal with. It was probably a lot cheaper just to put signs there. But unfortunately, uh, they didn't ca account for uh, idiots like you to come on there and think that they run the place. So uh, there's only so much they can do. 
so that the public knows that you know this is a restricted area and don't put that big sign right there because it looks very welcoming sir dumbass you dumbass you're a dumbass such a dumbass you're an ass I have no idea what universe you come from, but it must be nice to be that freaking stupid to think that this sign or this sign look very welcoming at all. In fact, they look pretty stern in the way they are presented. I mean, there's nothing wrong with these signs at all. It's just that you're too much of an idiot to understand the true meaning of what these signs actually are for. So why change them for uh, one person who can't understand the meaning of them at all? Just leave them the way they are, because you know what? You're just going to wander off here in the next few minutes and uh, find some uh, pretty tinfoil to play with or something like that. Can you, before we get going, I, I wish you nothing but success and the best. Uh, for, we have thousands watching. We always have to do at least one question about the Constitution. Can you uh, briefly, in one sentence, tell us what the Third Amendment is about? If you remember. Okay, sir. Well, the Third Amendment uh, is no soldiers in our homes. Not exactly that simple, Asselmo. Considering there are conditions in that uh, very amendment that, uh, well, you really should read such as the park without the consent of the owner, basically saying that if the owner allows it to happen, then it will happen. But I should come to expect that from you and every uh, frauder out there, considering that all you ever do is cherry pick anyway. Uh, if any, uh, if the government ever gives unconstitutional orders so that military can be sent to our houses, that's, that's illegal. That's against the constitution and Sir, you as a police officer, just remember that you took an oath to protect our rights. And you, if you don't know these rights, there's no way that you can protect them, sir. You sure know where the no trespassing sign is. But, sir, you need to also know what, uh, what our rights are. I didn't know that this officer was supposed to be taking advice from an illiterate, uneducated criminal jackass such as yourself, ass Elmo. Because you know what? This guy knows what his job is, and he just did part of his job by removing you from the property. Uh, do you know what the First Amendment is? That's an easy one. You asked the question, I educated you. Can you please step out of the roadway so our vehicles can come in and out? Well, we'll be on our way, sir. I appreciate the conversation. And y'all have a nice day, okay? You too. Thank you. And well, there you have it, folks. Uh, Asselmo got educated, but unfortunately, it's an education that won't last long with him, considering, well, his brain is unable to retain information that is vital to anything that might come up. Well, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.